I think to me, good health is not just the absence of disease. It's really a state of physical, emotional, and social well-being. And uh, in that sort of a good state, the ability to pursue dreams and pursue a career, uh, that's what health really means to me. Through my life, I've had a broad variety of healthcare experiences. As a medical student, I spent a summer with my wife in Bangladesh in the third world seeing diseases that had completely disappeared from here. Then uh, at one point in my career, I had my own incident. I fell in the operating room. I was at Hopkins for many years, faculty there, and fell in my own operating room, broke my knee, had my own operation. So I got to see things from the other side. I got to see what it's like to need a narcotic drip and to need nursing care. And I learned a lot from that. I learned how important nurses really are. I certainly learned how important physical therapists really are. I wouldn't be walking now without them. Um, and so I, I got to see things from both sides of the fence and that was a very enriching experience for me. Surgery, I'm convinced, is the best career in the world because you meet somebody who has a significant health problem, you are able to walk with them through a very dramatic episode, go into the operating room, and then see them get better. And there is just nothing like that in the world. I'm convinced there's no better career. I think the beauty of an academic surgery career, which is my privilege here at Stony Brook, is to train the next generation. And that, that's a thrill as well. So I think those are the two things that are most rewarding for me. Well, the healthcare breakthroughs in my life have been amazing. I was born in 1956. At that point, the life expectancy in America was 60 years. Now it's almost 75 years. So in this time period, we've added almost 15 years of life expectancy. Now that isn't all from medical advancements, but an awful lot of it is. So, you know, for, to me, the thing that I would love to see is more of those breakthroughs, and that's what we're about here at Stony Brook. But I would also love to see more and more people be able to access those breakthroughs, both here and around the world. What is particularly powerful about being at Stony Brook and being an academic surgeon is that we have the opportunity to change surgery itself. So at the end of my career, when I look back, I hope to see that surgery itself is different than it would have been if I wasn't here at Stony Brook working as an academic surgeon. Through the advances that we push forward, through the research that we do, and through the next generation that we train that will carry our legacy forward.